here, Joseph? Yeah? Feeling good? Yes. Yeah, because if you get here, you try to extend higher and you project and your chest caves, horrible position, especially as we start to work up in heavier loads, you're really compromising the shoulder, you're really loading, basically you're gonna feel it. So I just felt that right there, just with 25 pounds, right up at the yeah, labrum rotator cuff bicep, tendon connection up in the front delt as well. You're gonna feel it all start burning up in there. It's not a safe position. And when you get into heavier load, we can pop something pretty quick. I want you to do this for 10. 10. Uh -huh. Good, stack the chest, good, set the scap, good. Now push away, push into the pad. Better, that's better. Just back your count, checking scap and lat movement. Good. Good. Nice. I wait. <laughs> you got the Ronnie Coleman voice? I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do it, man. All I know is I wish I could. He's another, he's another one of those figures where you see him and it's like not what you'd expect. You know what I mean? If you just saw him like walking down the street, you know he was a cop, right? Could you imagine getting pulled over by that dude? He was a cop when he was built? Like oh, yeah. built big? Oh yeah. Look it up. He was a cop. Ronnie Coleman was a cop. Yeah, hey, come he, here. he'd already won at least one, if not two Olympias, and he was still a cop. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just think about that for a second. Mind. The mind is blown. Ask me why I like these quarters better. I just do. It's just what it is. I love it. Yeah. It's more logos for us to put around the gym. Spread the wealth. Oh, go ahead. Let's do a set of. Uh, give me a set of eight here. Or you think you could go up and still do eight reps? Maybe throw a ten on there. Good answer. Look, you're learning. I'm proud. I can't ego lift. No, you cannot ego lift. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Chest is gonna go up. I'll drop my scout down. Tuck. Push. No, not yet. I want to do one more set here, then we'll put a 10 on, and then we'll do two more sets. Okay. Because I want to make sure you can still finish yeah. your last rep on your last set. Oh, I'm good. This is kind of focusing. I feel like this is like a whole upper body thing. It is. I want you to think about where it's focusing on this next rep set you do. Okay. So just go at it. Yeah. It'll be fine. White gummy bear. Second best rain flavor. The first best, number one, is the new rainbow sherbet by far. Ooh. Rainbow sherbet by far. They, they hit, hit it right on the head with that one. That's good.
All right, stop the turn on. Eight more. Come on. Okay, now you answer my question. What do you think it's focusing on? Definitely. Feels like a shoulder press, kind of. Am okay. I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Okay. Shoulders are a good answer. Sh shoulders, upper chest, scap, rear delts. There's a lot of things that's really focusing on, but predominantly you're going to get a lot of upper pec out of that, and then what's going to be your shoulders? Okay. Kind of a neutral grip like that. I mean, the big thing is the fact that it's a machine and it's stabilized. We're just going to take the instability element out. So if you think about like a neutral grip inclined dumbbell press, similar type of deal, except the difference is you take the dumbbell, the biggest factor of it is stabilizing that dumbbell. So when you take the stability factor out of it, it just becomes a much safer movement for your shoulders. Yeah. So somebody who's got horrible shoulders like myself, this is a really safe movement to work on building that shoulder strength as well as the upper chest. Um, my favorite part about this right here is really the contrast between the dynamic and then moving to something a little bit heavier. I don't know about you, but you should feel a nice pump start to form in the shoulders and that upper chest right about feel now. Feel a little buffalo up here. Yeah, there you go. Get some good some good blood moving in that upper chest and kind of into the shoulders. So the gimbal comes in hand. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, no, yeah. that thing goes <laughs> It was not that far out. So what we decided we are gonna do is smoke cigars and ride aerodyne bikes outside to increase awesome. how much we basically our calorie deficit on top of being depleted on top of then throwing in nicotine and cardio that's how you lose weight that's how you do it yeah ride aerodyne bikes and smoke cigars at the same time so you okay. turn gray it's like an olympic athlete <laughs> All right, almost set. See how it goes, y'all. Yeah, good. The last one had just enough strength. Maybe we liked a little bit more. Well, that was pretty good. I was bumming kind of fast. wasn't focusing as much as I should have on the first set. I'm afraid of the second to last one. We could have probably gone up another 10 pounds, but it's okay. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. All right, okay. stripper down. I'm just gonna sit here while you strip it down. No, no, no. Pull this one off of here. So the next poor bastard doesn't get screwed. All right, this way. What's going on guys? Uh, getting ready to compete here. We're doing the APF, pressing the pieces together, bench meet. Uh, it's autism awareness meet, especially with it being autism awareness month. Definitely find it important. Um, and actually after that, we're gonna go ahead and compete at APF nationals. I believe that's June 4th. Saturday, June 4th. So we're sitting at about eight weeks out right now. Uh, we're gonna toss in this little bench meet as kind of a, a warm up for the bench uh, before we head into what's gonna be APF Nationals, kind of as a precursor and qualifier for WPC Worlds. Uh, the WPC Worlds will be going on in November in conjunction with the WPO. Uh, you might see me at both, you might see me at one. You don't really know yet. I haven't decided yet, so we're gonna have some fun. A lot of these things, a lot of these pages, you can go ahead and Find a lot of these things on my Instagram. Also find it on the Elite Instagram. Uh, mine is just at Adam Zevchek. We're going to be going ahead and doing a lot of our dynamic work today and specifically just training in general, getting ready for bench meet, which will kind of be just a, uh, a warm-up for what's going to be nationals coming here in June.